Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of this 12th MOOC dedicated to the production of sustainable biofuels, namely biojet and biodiesel. In the first part, we talked about the chemical structure of triglycerides. It's now time to see precisely the type of molecules present in each of these feedstocks. Palm oil consists of half-saturated C16, palmitic acid, and half-unsaturated C18. While rapeseed is mainly made up of C18, about 95 weight percent, just like sunflower. Regarding animal fats and used cooking oils, their qualities can vary greatly depending on their origin. Thus, animal fats are mainly made up of C18, while used cooking oil also have a significant presence of C18 with a proportion of C16 that can go up to 25 weight percent. In terms of unsaturation, we see that used cooking oils compare quite well to rapeseed, while animal fats have more C16 saturated chains. These unsaturations will have a direct influence of the hydrogen consumption in the downstream process. We can also report the number of unsaturation by hydrocarbon chain, and we see that most unsaturated fats are mainly vegetable oils and that reversely palm oil and animal fats have up to two times less unsaturation than sunflower. It should be noted that in these oils there are also free fatty acids or FFA. You can see the formula just here. These acids also have a number of carbon atoms between 16 and 18 and their proportion is quite variable depending on the origin of the feedstock. Once we have described the composition in terms of triglycerides and fatty acids, let's have a look at the impurities. Indeed, these impurities can have a significant impact on the downstream process design. When we talk about impurities, we are mainly talking about metals and more particularly phosphorus. We also look at chloride, which can be in inorganic or organic form. Finally, nitrogen is also important for downstream unit that we will detail a little later. Thus, pine oil contaminants are fairly precisely characterized with overall few metals, little phosphorus, little chlorine, and little nitrogen, and also few free fatty acids. On the other end, for used cooking oils as well as animal fats, depending on their origin, the impurity contents is very variable and can go very high. Indeed, we can see here that phosphorus is very present in animal fats, just like nitrogen, as well as chlorine. These values will have a direct impact on the design of downstream units. Note that the viscosity of this fatty chain is about 40 centipoise at 40 degrees C. This is easy to remember. But then, once we have identified and characterized these oils, are they so different from conventional fuels produced from petroleum, namely kerosene and diesel? See you in the third part of this MOOC dedicated to biofuels. In the meantime, do not hesitate to subscribe to my YouTube channel and answer the five questions of the quiz. See you very soon. Bye-bye.